In this video, we're going to show you more about our minimalising. We're clearing out cupboards mm. and chucking out food. It's one of those very unusual wet days in Spain, so we thought Let's spend the day clearing out the cupboards. It's peeing down. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it has been. Stop wind, for a moment. Yeah, and the wind's been very strong. So mm. we just we are in chaos because you just <laughs> empty a cupboard and it's and I'm getting all hot and bothered and <laughs> it's not enjoying it actually. Yeah. When do you usually are? It's getting hot and bothered. <laughs> anyway, um, mm. we went out last night round to some some friends. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> while we were around there. It started to rain, and boy, did it rain! Mm. When we came back, luckily we put away stuff. Yeah. Um, we left the bikes out there covered, mm. but there was like an inch and a half of rain puddle across the entire mm. pitch. So that continued all night. It's been an absolute nightmare, but. Uh, I don't think we've had it as bad as some people no. further north. No, we haven't. I think there's been snow and floods and all sorts. Mm. Anyway. We're thankful. So today we are um, clearing out cupboards. We're minimalising. We are. Mm. And um, nothing is safe. No, it isn't. Uh, I've been very uh, much inspired by a friend I watch on um, YouTube and her name is Denise and she's got this channel called Sprogs Home and Away and um, she's busy sorting out her cupboards and I thought she stays very calm while she's doing it so I must copy her. Well, Go and watch her if you want, she's a nice lady, I hope you do. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, some long time regular viewers might remember that I quite like these um, packets of noodles yeah, you know, I've done a couple of noodle challenges, eating, <laughs> trying to find the best noodle out of ten. That was a nightmare. Um, but these have all the bad stuff in it that mm. I'm currently not eating. Um, so yeah. these are going in the bin, along with. Yeah. Uh, I quite like these snack pots, but that's got all the bad stuff in it. Mm. And these. These, these don't sound so no. bad. They, you know, they're quick cook yeah. ribbon noodles by Sainsbury's. So we've we've had them a while, but <laughs> the last time I had those, I was seriously ill. You were, darling. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. I was ill for a week after eating a, a mm. couple of bowls of that. Wow. So they're going in the bin, mm. and you know. Goodbye. Anyway. So that's that, but we've got um, more stuff. Let me let me just get out the way mm. of there, and you can see. Yeah, let me sit down and get out your way because the cupboards yeah. up here. Yeah. Um, that cupboard over there was, and sort of still is, my sort of technical cupboard, but I've overflowed into this one here. And there's some technical kit in that box, and that's the sound equipment bag. There's a suit maker at the back, but the rest of that is clear. Behind all that, there, round the round that corner, there's wine. <laughs> so we're keeping we're keeping more heavy stuff yeah. down that end, aren't we? Yep, yeah, we are. So and let's let's just heavy. go down that way. Um, this this box here. Uh, it's got a couple of things in it, and they're going to go. They're, uh, they're going up for sale. There's a almost a brand new Wi-Fi router, which would be great for somebody technical who wanted to extend Wi-Fi or more do whatever. Um, there's also an iPhone uh, gimbal, like electronic thing. It's called an uh, an S Move or Smooth. Um, it's good for selfies and taking steady shots. So that'll go for sale. Um, and over this side, down the back of there, is a microphone 
an XLR cable, a mic stand, studio mic stand, and a um, an H4N recorder, uh, voice recorder, sound recorder. So they'll all be going up for sale. So that will empty out a lot of space. I'm sort of making that decision on the fly there. I'm seriously emotionally attached to all that sound equipment um, because I think I keep thinking we're going to do more podcasts and I think we are but I'm not sure I'll need the studio type setup mic I, I can't do it in here so we're probably going to use the camera to record the podcast yep. yeah yeah so that's what we do um, in the side cupboards Wendy's emptied out the map books that are in that cupboard there you probably probably can't see it um, and we're cleaning up the food on this side. So we've got books down this side, map, um, food down that side. We're doing quite well actually. We're in a right blooming mess. Let me show you the floor of what's going on. And the bed. And under, I've got one under the bed up and I've made space under there for lighter things. Yeah. So let's just show yeah. the floor. Just tip you down to the towards the floor. So <laughs> this is all the rubbish on the floor coming back through. Um, there's some little candle-y things just there and there's shopping bags and an, e an empty, a little empty box just there. And then underneath that, that's a, that's a little game for the grandchildren. So, and then well, on the, on the passenger seat down there, that's my bag. <laughs> on the camera, yeah. it's on the other side. Oh, is it? Oh, I was going to say yeah. that's, our, that's uh, our princess there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah the, it's funny, you need to point in a different yeah. place oh. in real life mm. when you're pointing to things on the camera. So on the camera, it looks like I'm pointing right at my bag. So that's the bag. And on the back of the seat there is the cool mat. So there's a few bits up there that we need to sort of store away, which we're going to. Yeah, I'll just show you what these are. Now these are That's sentimental to items. To me, yes. It's my grandmother's, my grandmother, yeah. my mum's mum. She always had this on her dressing table and I've got it full of like, when Steve and I got married, um, we bought a brass ring from um, Woolworths. So that's in there. Can't that get rid was, of that. That's my wedding ring. Mm, and yeah. that's the <laughs> that's the only memento. Um, we couldn't afford any proper no, rings. No. And they said, well, you've got to have a ring. So we bought one from Woolworths, didn't we? Yeah. Um, which I think was about 10p or something like that. And that's your, your dad when that's he died. That's my dad's um, watch, pocket watch, that he used to wear all the time when he was working. Yeah, he, he was a... On and the there was, trains, he was, and he used to put it out his yeah. pocket. Yeah, he worked on the railways, and mm. there's a chain to go with yeah, that. There is and he, yeah, he wore a railway, a classic railway men's uniform thing, with a waistcoat and thing. Mm. Anyway, so that used to hang for us. But so, and of course, one other thing I don't. We've kept them all these years. Is those Churchill coins that every child got in 1965? <laughs> I bet they're not worth any. We're, we're going to. Uh, we're going to send those. Yeah. To yes. grandchildren, mm. whether they like it or not, yeah. aren't we? They, they, they <laughs> yes. <laughs> so anyway, so that's, so that's sentimental. The, um, so that's we yeah. got to keep that. And one last thing, like, this is this is the thing. It's full of um, fridge magnets, and of course, when you're in the van, there's nowhere to put them. So there we are, fridge magnets. Everyone used to go. They used to send them to me. And magnetic pictures of the grandchildren, so... Oh, I'm not going to... I was going to open it, but it's so... <laughs> it's so full. It really jammed, packed. Yeah. Um, I love fridge magnets. Yeah. 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 Well, there you go. There we are. So, so, anyway, yeah. We would hope that we could put those up somewhere, but there's nowhere magnetic no. in the van. And I always worry that if we did put... You know, I always thought we might get a... a sort of steel sheet or metal sheet mm. to put up by the kitchen um, 
as a sort of splash pack thing and then put all those on there but I thought if we went over a bump uh, they might all yeah. just fall yeah. off so they'll probably stay in storage until we can't think what else to do uh, yeah so so that's that's what we're yeah, about spending today. our day doing mm. if you listen carefully you can hear the rain here comes the rain again yeah. raining <laughs> Raining on my head, <laughs> like a summer breeze. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think those. Anyway, strange um, mm. lyrics. Well, yeah, one of those. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Yep. Um, I think we're going quite well. We've uh, we've taken the tea bags, which are very light, from the front of the van, and we put them into the side. Look at that. One, two boxes of PG tips, are they? Yorkshire no, tea. Yorkshire. Yorkshire tea, yes. I think there's a. Uh... Look at these. 240 Yorkshire tea bags yes. in each box. Priceless. <laughs> so we've got. Still got two left, yeah. We've got enough tea to keep us going for another few days. Mm. We? we have, yeah, we'd be alright with tea, I think. Yeah. So it's those, so when we buy stuff, <coughs> oh, Ouch. I'm really nearly falling over all the yeah, stuff on the floor here. Yeah. So when we buy stuff, mm. when we buy stuff that's heavy, yes. I'm hoping that there'll be space at the front because mm. we've got those uprated springs on the front that should take that little bit of extra mm. weight rather than put it all on the back which mm. sort of does that to the van We'd rather have it flat and level it's safer that way some people ask mm. don't they yes if we're overweight <laughs> well the doctor says I am uh, and the doctor says I am <laughs> But so personally, doctor. yes, we are. Yeah. I think um, I think they told me I was obese mm -hmm. at one point. Clinically obese, they morbidly said. Morbidly obese. Mo not they morbidly, clinically. Morbidly. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, oh dear, why are we talking like that? Um, yeah, a... But I don't think the van is. <laughs> no, the van's alright, yeah. The van yeah. seems to go along quite nicely. Mm. It doesn't look like it's down. We, mm. you know, we've not had it weighed for quite a time but last time we had it away we were overweight yeah. but we had so much stuff on on board that we've now we've really cleared out a load of stuff and haven't really added that much back in so mm. I think we're we're good to go because I've got the bed lifted up and I'm just putting some light things in the underneath the bed which is a good we can only access it from inside the van i know some people yeah. can access just... underneath the bed from outside but we can only get there so i've got we've, i had heavy things and there's some light things i'm gonna put under there aren't i yeah so that's so that's Oops. the bed there so that's that's the mattress held up and that's the bed storage underneath that bit there is the drawer that goes out that side there's a similar one on the other side there and there's two drawers at the front yeah. so there's a big square space of storage in the middle there which is really useful we're putting light stuff in yes, there we are now it, it is quite difficult to get in and out of there isn't it well if the bed's made nicely it mucks it up so if you know you're I don't know, I hate it if I've made the bed nicely. I can't bear to lift the mattress up. Because <laughs> it messes it up. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a... 